Beardo Benjo. Hello everyone, it's been a little while since I played something for Mini Spooks. I've been on Itch.io looking at the horror games and I'm in that kind of mood to play some horror games today. This one here today is called Paralysis. It's paralysis but with a Z in there, so let's parala paralyze, paralysis, paralysis. Let's just call it paralysis. Now this one jumped out at me because uh, for the longest time, um, not in the house I'm in now, but in my old house, which I grew up in, um, I used to get sleep paralysis all the time. Um, I don't know if it was due to sleeping on my back or something like that, but I would very often have that feeling of I was awake but I couldn't open my eyes, and I couldn't move my body parts. And it is a terrifying feeling if you've ever had it before um, because you're conscious within your own mind, but you can't wake yourself up. And the more you try and wake yourself up, the more kind of anxious you get and it creates a bit of a cycle and a bit of a loop whereby you can't wake up because you're freaking out. Now over the years I learned to kind of start wiggling my toes very slowly and then that kind of turned into wiggling my feet and then that would turn to wiggling my leg and then eventually I'd jolt myself awake. But it took me ages to kind of learn that and kind of relax myself to get out of it. And as I say, I haven't had the sleep paralysis since I moved out and lived with my wife in the houses we've been in together. It was only in my uh, the house I grew up in, which is a little strange when I think about it, but that kind of makes this game more creepy I guess or hopefully it'll make this game more creepy. So this game is basically uh, centered entirely around having sleep paralysis and not being able to move and there's things in your room and you need to kind of calm down I think and try and survive the night. So I'm just going to play it, give it a go. I think it's only very short but yeah I've wanted to play some little mini spooky games for a little while now and I think today's the day. Let's, let's rock and roll. Warning. This game contains loud noises and is based on true events. Best played in the dark with headphones. I have headphones it's not that dark, but it ain't. It ain't light either. Let's rock and roll. Let's find out what's keeping this guy asleep, shall we? Hopefully, this doesn't hit too close to reality. The only thing with me with my sleep paralysis was I couldn't open my eyes. I would be my eyes would be closed, and I couldn't I couldn't open them. Oh, I don't like this. It looks like my bedroom. It's because it is your bedroom. You're, you're in bed, mate. Literally, all I can do is look around with my mouse. Um, yeah. What is that? Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. What was that? It's like a, a witch came through the window and flew towards me for some... Bizarre reason. Uh, okay. Now that never happened to me when I was suffering from sleep paralysis. Oh. Oh. Oh, hello. Hello, baby face witch. Are you coming to give me a cuddle? A nice, good night cuddle. Ah, that's quite. You're not actually looking at me, though, are you? Just past me. Oh, now you're looking at me. Hello. Oh, you're gone. <laughs> Creepy. Yeah, that never happened to me when I had sleep paralysis. I literally couldn't even open my eyes. I was just conscious of the fact that I was awake. Awake, but I couldn't open my eyes. The light, the light. Get to the light. I need to get up. Okay, well, get up there. Oh, move left up. This is it. This is kind of the thing I do. You wiggle your body parts until you can get up. Until you wake yourself up. Although, am I done? Oh! I'm up! Oh my god, the sensitivity is low. Damn, he walks slowly. Well, that just turned the light off. The light was already off. Oh, I'm back in bed. Okay. Now I stuck in an endless loop of being in bed. Have you ever had one of them lucid dreams where you're certain you're awake and then things start to go a little bit off and then you realise very quickly you're not awake? Ugh, I've had so many of them. Oh! Oh shit! TV's on! Uh, okay. Ah, oh, Jesus! It's a teddy bear! It's not scary! Get the fuck off me. 
stupid no eyeball teddy. Can you get off me? Oh my god, I can't get rid of the teddy bear. Oh, there we go. Are you afraid? No. I'm alright. I lied. I shouldn't have lied. Did you notice something in the corner of your room? No. Did you see it? No. No. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh! Yeah, it's a surprise. No. <laughs> I hope you like the next one. No, I don't want another one. Oh, shit. What is that noise? You know, sometimes I think people have great ideas for genuinely scary games. And they ruin it with bizarre sound effects like that. Can't wait to see you. Oh! I've woke up again. Got like little Minecraft plants on my desk, which is quite cool. Turn, turn, turn! Come on, turn that light on. Or off again, for some bizarre reason. Ah! God damn it! Get out of bed! Lazy, lazy shit. No. Oh shit, why is it breathing? Oh, see that's not nice. That's... That's the kind of thing that will just end me. Now there's footsteps, but there's nothing there. No. No. I'm alright. No. Close your eyes. Go to sleep. Oh, shitty Rickers. Oh, no, not my pot. <laughs> it's horrible. You... Just move the mouse slightly. Please, please don't. Curb your anxiety. Keep it down, keep it down, keep it down, keep it down, keep it down. What is that? Oh, that's like a little spiky puppy. He's coming in. Keep that anxiety down. Oh, there he goes. Whee! He ran through the wall. That was impressive. Oh my god, I can't click fast enough to keep my goddamn anxiety down. Oh, hello! Oh, he's handsome. Look at that bony, bony buttock. You're not really my worst nightmare. Oh, shit, the bed. Get that anxiety down. I cannot click that fast on my mouse. Thanks. You having an asthma attack? You're right. Oh, yep. Yeah, get that light on. Come on. Last time now, surely. Let's get this bloody light on. Come on, sir. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. I want to go downstairs for a drink. You can go wherever you want, sunshine. There's a drink right there. It's probably not very warm anymore. It looks like it was tea or coffee at one point. Oh God, the sensitivity. Go downstairs for a drink. Is that it? Or maybe I'm still asleep. Oh. Oh. Was that a hypothetical question? That was a hypothetical question. That was kind of cool. It wasn't very scary. A couple of decent little uh, jump scares in there that it managed to get me with. But overall, that was that was pretty funky. Uh, I really do miss uh, playing a lot of these kind of little indie games. Um, I should do it a bit more. 
my schedule at the moment is a little bit crazy because my work shifts are kind of all over the place but I'm starting a new job soon and I'm going to a, a lot more structured um, work-life balance so I'll have my evenings back for what is your worst nightmare spiders just big hairy spiders if I'm honest that's kind of it yeah, Paralysis was fun. It's a very short experience um, made by uh, Julie Nguyen and Janice NG. Um, cool little project there. Um, I think sleep paralysis is something that is genuinely terrifying. Having experienced it myself multiple, multiple times, I'm never able to open my eyes. My eyes are closed and I'm just aware of the fact that I'm awake and I can't, I can't pull myself out of it. Um, but yeah, it's a very cool... Um, yeah, it's definitely a topic that could be explored more in horror games and in media. I've seen a couple of little films about it, short films, and I think there's there's room to kind of really delve into the scariness of it because it is genuinely terrifying. If you've ever experienced it before, it's uh, not a very comfortable feeling and not something I wish upon anyone. Anyway, I'll upload a few more of these over the next few days. I want to kind of get a couple of little horror games out by the end of the week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave me a like, a comment, and hit subscribe. I'll see you soon for another one, guys. Take care. Goodbye.